And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. There is no better way to start off the new year than with the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin, we know the game's changing, and Steve Kerr says, I'm amazed by the skill level of today's players. But the little thing, getting back in transition, boxing out, they aren't as locked in. Most of them didn't have a high school and college coach yelling at them for eight straight years. So, it's a different world. Guys? Good perspective from Steve Kerr. D.A., thank you. And New Year's Day, Greg, a time to turn the page and, and look ahead. And hopefully to better days. Uh, a time for renewed hope and renewed commitments. And everybody's an optimist on the first of the year. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. The guard set is White alongside Levine. Green is out there with Vucevic. And it's DeRozan in at the three spot. And for the Wizards. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Daniel Gafford is out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the small forward. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Gafford kicks to Caldwell Pope. Beal against Vucevic. Fires from 14. They get the rebound. The shot's good from Gafford. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. DeRozan scanning the floor. It's good from the top of the key. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Here's Dinwiddie. Passes it to Beal. The three. Green with the rebound. And so White will bring it up for the Bulls. Levine for three. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Boy, Zach Levine, such tremendous lift on his jumper. How about that from range? Dinwiddie passes to Gaffer. Doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Vucevic. And Nikola Vucevic just quietly dominates. Capable of racking up a double-double on any night. Yeah, it still feels like Vuce is a bit underrated. This guy can flat-out play on both ends. Capable scorer, improved defensively. You love what he brings to the table. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Levine against Beal. Dinwiddie with the steal. It's Beal on the wing. Over Levine. Beal can't get it to go. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. On the wing, Levine. Back to Vucevic. Over Beal. That one's not going to go. And the Wizards now going the other way. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And I credit the shot selection in that one. It's hard to stay patient, but you see the reward. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. Green against Kuzma. And the layup is good. Kuzma's got his second bucket of the night. And you have to tip your cap to Kuzma. He absorbs contact well and knows how to adjust his shot. And now the first time I've called here for the Bulls. And Kyle Kuzma now in year one of his three-year $40 million extension. And he's improving. Stronger, better on the boards, finding ways to do more than put the ball in the hole. Levine against Beal. Levine can't hit. Last game for the Bulls, they picked up the W against the Pacers in Indiana. Dinwiddie attacking, and he goes in for the dunk. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. 
I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Now here's DeRozan. Hard to imagine, but the stats are tremendous as he averages close to 27 points a game. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Drills it from outside. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the basket by DeRozan. And with that one, it ends an 11-0 run by the Wizards. Wizards leading by six. Outside, Beal. It's stolen by Vucevic. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's White. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And Kuzma has it in the corner. From outside, off the mark. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the Bulls. Outside, DeRozan. Yep, that one goes. DeRozan. DeRozan's got six points. The DeMar DeRozan simply never lets the defense phase him. He plays at his pace and he welcomes any challenge. White against Dinwiddie. That's no good, and now he's missed two and made two. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. That's well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Outside, Beal. Dinwiddie against White. Here's Kuzma. And a miss there on the triple. Chicago trailing here. And White kicks to Levine. At the elbow, Green. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Out to DeRozan. Here's the three. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Three-point field goal. Vucevic has got three assists in the game. So timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. All right. Coming on the court, make some noise for your Wizards answer. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. Bertinus comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Bradley Beal. And Raul Nettis. Hammer it home! Hammer it home, baby! That is authority right there. <laughs> awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. At the elbow, Jones. Kick out to Levine. That one falls. That He's be. got five. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Neto. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Levine wide open, and it's Chicago scoring again. I tell you, that jumper of Levine, so pure looking when he's in rhythm. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Harold, the pass to Bertens. Takes a three. The offensive rebound. Harold, that's good. Harold's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, the grit right there. Montrez Harrell simply wanting that offensive rebound more than anyone else. Here's Levine. Ken Levine with the slam. Well, multiple time winner of the slam dunk contest. Levine has got a creative streak. We've got 113 left to play here in the first. Here's Neto, defended by Jones. Back to White. Levine deciding where to go with it. From deep. It's rebounded by Neto. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. First trip first to the line for him foul. here. At the line for the Wizards, Aaron Holiday. 
taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Washington making some changes. Avdia comes in for Bertinus. And Kispert subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Chicago also making some changes. Osumu, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And Thomas subbed in for White. All free throws good from Holiday. Chicago with the ball. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, proficiency from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. And I think it was clear that their plan was to attack from the three-point line, and it worked to perfection. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Neto. Chicago grabs the miss. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Jones kicks to Thomas. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Neto. Shoots over Bradley. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Pulls out front as they end the first quarter with a huge surge an 18 to 6 run let's take a quick break now and then it's on to the second quarter after this well bradley beal has four brothers who played football so how did he settle on basketball so mom said in high school whoever recruited me first basketball football is what we stuck with so it was basketball. Simple. <laughs> and it seems like it worked out for him. No question. And his mother coached him up. So some all-around sports talent in the Beal family. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. Yeah, we've seen them burying their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. A good first half for them in that department. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Bulls, Thomas is out there with Dosumu. Then there's Jared Jones. Jared then there's Jared Bradley, Jr. and it's Brown in at the three slot. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Washington. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that's the third of four straight played at home. Bradley on the double team. The wide open look here for Holiday. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And after one year at UNLV, Derrick Jones Jr. going pro back in 2016, he's gone from an undrafted project to a dunk contest champion. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, but D.A., I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Pass to Dosunmu. Buries it from three-point range. Dosunmu's got himself on the board with three there. Derek Jones Jr., Greg, as we know, is a high flyer. In fact, he, he is a frequent flyer. Yeah, I mean, all the physical tools you look for in a wing player, Kevin. Tremendous length and athleticism, and he continues to develop his skill set and capitalize on those gifts. Here's Avdia. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Avdia's got his second basket of the game. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Chicago calls timeout, and we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. 
Uh, what do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I played in Seattle for a season, and I know they would oh, love yeah. to have a team that back in the great Northwest. Season. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Montrez Hill. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Kispert. Bradley Beals checked in for Aaron Holiday. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Raul Neto. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Bradley. Green comes in for Jones. And it's to Rosen in for Brown. Out to Kuzma. Inside, Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Outside to Rosen. Dosunu, the pass to Green. Here's Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. How about those instincts from the seven-footer? Vucevic uses that size to snag offensive rebounds. Dinwiddie up top. He's guarded by Thomas. Beal from long range. It's not going to go for him. And it's Chicago the other way. Thomas finds Vucevic. Shoots over Gafford. And he overshot that one, missing. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Avdia. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And Dinwiddie with some big shoes to fill. Steps into the vacancy. Westbrook left with the Wizards. Washington targeted Dinwiddie early in free agency. The Wizards shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That one drops. He ties it up. And that drops, so they now lead by one. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Well, this is where DeMar DeRozan proves he is the real deal. Not only a skilled scorer, skilled at finding his teammates as well. Ben Whitty surveying the floor. Outside for Beal. They get it again. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Well, as always, that mid-range game of DeMar DeRozan, almost unstoppable. Gafford passes to Beal. Gafford trying to break free. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Bradley Beal. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And when it comes to pure scoring output, few guys do it better than Bradley Beal. Yeah, Bradley Beal has rounded out his offense. Oh, so tight handle, sweet shooter, ability to put it on the deck. His offensive focus has been unmatched. This guy is constantly probing and attacking holes in defenses. Wizards making a switch here. Bairton has checked in. Zach Levine's checked in for Chicago. White comes in for Matt Thomas. Levine dishes to White. Just five on the clock. Knocked away. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Wizards basketball. Wizards have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Here's Pertinis. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got four rebounds in this game. 
Green finds Levine. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Levine's got 12 points in the game. Well, such a quick release. Zach Levine in a catch and shoot. Nicely done. Beal the pass to Dinwiddie. Bertans against Vucevic. A drive by Beal. And finished off by Beal. A difficult choice for the defense, right? If you sag off, he drains the jumper. In this instance, you give him a step, and he finishes with a big-time drive. Shoots. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And Vucevic has got the ball here for Chicago. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. DeRozan for three. Rebounded by the Wizards. And Kuzma has it in the corner. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, Chicago has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Green kicks to Levine. There's the pass to Vucevic. And it's White, top of the key. And that one, good. White. White's got his first bucket of the night. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Outside, Beal. Out left to the wing. Here's Kuzma. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time for Vucevic. Green inside. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Here's White. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. Washington making some changes. Harrell, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Kisper comes in for Beal. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for Dinwiddie. Chicago also making some changes. Tony Bradley's checked in for Vucevic, and Jones subbed in for Green. Holiday against Bradley. And so it looks like Washington will retain position here. Brown is checked in before Chicago. Troy Brown Jr. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half. Caldwell Poe passes to Holiday. Four on the shot clock. And another miss by Washington. The Bulls leading by four. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal. And what we've seen recently from Zach Levine is his willingness to embrace more responsibility. And that has helped him become one of the game's most prolific scorers. First one falls for. And so Levine nails both of them. Wizards trail by six. Here's Kispert. Some solid defense from Brown. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. On the wing, Levine. He got it up. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Chicago with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third-quarter basketball. And now, 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Zach Levine was the man in the first. He had 14 points and one assist. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. And over to Shaq, your take on the Wizards. Got to give some credit to the energy of their bench. The second unit guys are trying to make a name for themselves tonight. And you know, I like the fire under the starters, baby. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Gafford in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive scheme. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. What you love about Nikola Vucevic is every night you know he's going to play hard and he's going to do whatever it takes to win. You love playing with teammates like that, guys. He's off on the second. Wizards trail by seven. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul. His first yeah, really foul. good defensive play to first cut him off foul. there and square up. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. The Bulls leading by seven. Bean passes to Green. Beal against Levine. Kicks to DeRozan. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Beal the pass to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Pass to Levine. Vucevic with it. Covered by Gaffer. They get it back. Kick out to Levine. With the drive. DeRozan in the corner. Five to shoot. Over Caldwell Pope, and again, no good by Chicago. Well, an 0 for 3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Passes to Gafford. Back to Beal. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Beal's got six points. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's Green. And the rejection by Gafford. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they've talked about at halftime, it's not working. Beal can't get it to go. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws that's coming up. Second team foul. Second team foul. 
Bulls have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And, and when you got a Two team shots. percentage of about 81 percent, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Green. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. This is to Caldwell Pope. That one misses. Nice D from DeRozan. On the wing, Levine. He's covered by Beal. Levine with it. 14 points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Green in the post. He's covered by Beal. Kick out to Levine. And again, no good by Chicago. Wizards trail by five. Here's Kuzma. It's all in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Levine passes to Green. Here's DeRozan. Guarded by Kuzma. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal. That'll be his second that's foul of the game. Abdias checked in for Kyle Beal. Kuzma. Chicago also making Bulls some changes. Dosumu comes in for Green. And Thomas subbed in for Levine. Here's Vucevic. No good on the quick three. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Outside DeRozan. Going inside. And then jammed down as he goes right over Daniel Gafford. Wow, and that vertical is unbelievable. DeRozan pulls off the jam. Those poor defenders. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. And he makes that one. Beal's got eight. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And the shot goes in. Chicago leading. Here's White. He takes it in. And White with the stuff. Yeah, under control. White has those short, quick strides. And the Wizards with possession. Beal taking his time here. Again, the Wizards good for two. I'll tell you, he's been much better in the second half. He's taking smarter shots. He's looking more comfortable. And guess what? He's in a groove. DeRozan against Beal. Pass to Thomas. Now here's Dosumu. That three off the mark. And Will Pope up top. Five points in the game. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's White. Offline with his three. For Washington, they've gone six of nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Here's Avdia for the lead. Gafford misses. The Bulls shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Here's DeRozan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Henley Beal picks one up. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do. And hit not enough credit for what he does. Take a break. Take a break. 
break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said you have to be able to take criticism if you want to be great. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. Kisper comes in for Caldwell Pope. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Beal. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. It's so funny to hear DeMar DeRozan joke about being an old man in this league. You know, he may not be a young man, but he's got a lot of years left, and he continues to improve. And here are the Bulls now. It's a one-point game. Up top, DeRozan. 17 points in the game. Really left alone that time. Matt Thomas. Thomas got six. Well, give DeMar DeRozan credit. This guy is unselfish, moving the basketball. Just such a great teammate. And here's Neto outside. Wizards working now with a new shot clock. Chicago leading by four. Left side, DeRozan. Driving inside. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Well, the pick and roll is one of many useful tools in the handbag of DeMar DeRozan. How about their ability to be effective in that situation? Here's Holiday, and he lays it straight in. He has six. Here is Thomas. Six points for him. Outside DeRozan. Now the pass to Dosun. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists in the game. Neto surveying the floor. There's the dish to Kispert. It's hauled in by Thomas. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Bulls. Here's DeRozan, badly trying to break free. Rebounded by the Wizards. Harrell's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Holiday, and he banks in the lane. Holiday's got six in the quarter. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter, just served him up. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And DeRozan, here we go. And DeRozan throws it down. The tremendous scoring on the move, right? Not to take anything away from that spot-up mid-range game, but DeRozan just dynamite getting to the cup. Pass to Harrell. Now here is Holiday. D right on him. He feeds it to Harrell. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Passes it to Dosuna. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. To the inside. Here's Avdia. Shakes him. Rebound by the Bulls. Jones has got six rebounds now in the game. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And we've reached the end of the third. It's Chicago, up seven. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Wizards trail by seven, so for Chicago right now, 
Dosumu is out there with Thomas. Then there's Bradley, then it's Zach Levine, and it's Jones in at the four. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Levine dishes to Thomas. Outside, Levine. Over Bertrand. Levine can't hit. Wizards shooting about 42% so far. A wide open look here for Kuzma. No good from outside. Chicago leading by five. On the wing, Levine, guarded by Kuzma. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Thomas goes in, leaps for it. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. The three from Bertans. Nailed from three-point land. Bertans got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Chicago calls timeout. Timeout on the floor. Bulls timeout. All right, fans, we're looking for the loudest section for free. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Washington. Beal comes in for Aaron Holiday. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Vucevic checked in for Bradley. Green comes in for Jones. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Dosumu. And it's wide in for Matt Thomas. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Bill and Donovan said to his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but you can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys, Thank you, David. Boy, what explosiveness. What force around the rim by Zach Levine. Wizards trail by four. Dinwiddie outside. Beal from long range. And it's White with the rebound. White's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And the wide open shot from Green. Demonte and off the Green. left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Now, Zach Levine is a solid passer. This guy entered the league as a point guard, puts it on the money there. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor lead. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? <laughs> Here's Caldwell Pope. That one, no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Here's Levine. And Levine with the side. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Then Whitty with the bucket. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. They lead by four. Here's Vucevic, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, there's a certain strength that Vucevic possesses, so he can play through the contact and still score. That's nice. And they pick up two. Yeah, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Levine kicks to DeRozan for three. And it's White missing. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ballgame. To the middle, here's Beal. Carroll trying to free himself up. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Bradley Beal. Left side, DeRozan. He dishes it to Green. Pass to White. Here's DeRozan, and finished off by DeRozan. How about this? As a defender, it's not easy to deal with DeMar DeRozan when he's driving to the window. This guy, through contact, potent as a finisher. Washington's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Dinwiddie, and Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got 14 rebounds tonight, going after. Takes it from 10. That misses off the backboard. 
Wizards trail by four. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope outside. The feed now to Harrell. Shot clock at six. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Possession to the Bulls. White finds Levine. Out to White. The tray. Rebound, Washington. Guzman's got rebound number five here tonight. Puts it up there for Harrell, and Harrell slams it in. How about the confidence of Montrez Harrell? Big time delivery. White inside. Dinwiddie covering. Vucevic to the pass to White. And again, no good by Chicago. Dishes it to be. Nice ball movement by Washington. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the ring, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, ho, ho. Levine kicks to White. They kick it out to Green. To Rosen against Kuzma. They get a hand on it, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take huge turnover. And really the worst possession time. Time. You have to value every possession, especially at this stage of the game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. It's tied at 72. 158 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our new balance player of the game. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken. And here we go. Dinwiddie heading to the hoop. No good. This miss, number four in ten shots. DeRozan passes to Green. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got four assists now tonight. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. 146 left to play here in the fourth. One forty-three left here in the fourth quarter. He gets that one. Chicago has gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And it's Vucevic missing. This possession gives them a chance to take the lead. Yeah, they don't want to let this one slip away. Dinwiddie right open. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Bulls are gone. 7 to 15 from the four here in the fourth. Right around 46 47 percent. This is why they want the ball into Rosen's hand. This guy is stone cold under pressure. Outside Beal. And the pass to Kuzma. It's all in by the Bulls. On the wing, Green. Kick out to Levine. A drive by Vucevic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his third person. Very difficult to stop full of Vucevic when he's driving like this. Pretty much daring the defense to hit him. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two seconds. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and 
and he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Now Beal. Driving in. Rebound collected by Levine. And here we go, the Bulls. Fix break. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Out to DeRozan. And the shot is long. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. Got it. And he has brought them to within two points. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Knocks down the trifecta. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreak. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by five. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? No time to waste here. Quick bucket. And a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively, and execution has got to be on point. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. So the Bulls win it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Damar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? We're focusing in on the defensive end. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Damar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.